it up, Big Kirk 916, positivity, motivation, never settle for average. Go to BigKirk916.com, pick you up some merch and represent and grab your bar of soap while you're at it so you can wash your ass. I keep telling y'all, they giving out time like they giving out free top ramen. The Fed is not playing with you youngsters out here wilding out, especially you rappers who are living that lifestyle for quote unquote street cred. YFN Lucy allegedly offered plea deal for 17 years in prison. This is on hot new hip hop. YFN Lucci has been offered a plea deal by the DA, according to reports. The rumored deal would leave him spending 17 years behind bars if accepted. He's charged with various crimes at the moment, including manslaughter, racketeering, six counts of aggravated assault, and more. He's serving time now for RICO charges that follow a 2021 drive-by shooting. The incident led to the death of James Adams. So Lucci is not believed to have killed Adams per Georgia law. He is being held responsible as an accomplice. The rapper was one of several other people charged in Atlanta as part of a major crime indictment. Man, they just take away these cats' youth, man. And these cats just give it away. They just give it away. Here, take my youth. Put me away till I'm a grandpa. Let my kids be fatherless. Man, I'm telling you, these, I'm t I've seen it. I've seen it firsthand. I've been through it. They they snatched up my 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 um my early twenties all the way up into my early thirties, man. In April, a clip of YFN Lucci appearing to pour lean in a jail cell hit the internet. Though it's unconfirmed what he was pouring into various bottles, social media users noted that if it was in real and in, in, was in fact lean, he'd be breaking some major rules. Yeah, you try to drown it away, man. A lot of cats, when they get to prison, if they were on drugs or any type of uh, pills, when they were on the street, they get to prison, they, they jump on the same thing. They got a pill line. Guys be slinging their pills. They got people keistering heroin. Uh, people sneaking in, all kind of guards sneaking in stuff. Man, you know, these guys dealing with the time, it's, it's, it's uh, rough for a lot of these youngsters. And their mind ain't right already because it's already been toxic. The mind has been so poisoned from all the drugs and chemicals they've been putting in their body. They get up in there and start uh, with the detoxing. You know, their body starts flushing out and they can't handle it. They, they, they're not really uh, wise enough to put their mind to use with the law library to try to fight some of these laws. So all they do is try to uh, basically uh, pacify the pain. And a lot of them do it with drugs, trying to sleep their time away, just high. I've seen it, man. Sad situation. Uh, in March, legal documents surfaced that appeared to reveal that YFN Lucci refused to testify against Young Thug and YSL in court despite the reported beef. Lucci was stabbed in the jail in 2021, and authorities suggested that the people behind the attack were members of YSL. Young Thug and YSL are also facing their own RICO charges at the moment, and it is speculated that Lucci might choose to testify against them. Reporter George Cheedy tweeted in February, quote, YFN Lucci's trial was due to begin January 9th, same as Young Thug's, end quote. The YFN gang and RICO case is just a wide ranging as the YSL case, quote, he claimed. Quote, the two are connected. Lucy is a witness, but Lucy's trial date has been postponed. His attorney said Tuesday, no new court date has been set, quote, end quote. He went on to write, quote, for clarification, Lucy is one of states, is on the state's witness list. That doesn't mean he's going to testify, but he could still be called, end quote. Lucia's attorney has denied rumors that he will appear as a witness in the YSL case. Yeah, man. <laughs> you know, when the shit hits the fan, dudes you thought were silent, you see him get wixed away in the middle of the night, you wake up and the dude's no longer in the same unit, they don't put him somewhere in isolation, he telling, or he's somewhere eating a McDonald's hamburger, you know, getting his deal uh, written up 
I mean, all kind of shit happened with these cases. 17 years, a lot of these cats don't want to sit up in prison for no 17 years. For what? For stupid shit. These guys, you sitting up in there and you hadn't even really lived life yet. They're about to give you as much time almost as you've been alive. And they're going to do it and go to go to sleep with a clear conscience. These, these judges, these prosecutors, they don't they don't care. You, you out here wilding out, thinking you're a uh, little hood terrorist, you know, little gangsters and stuff. Man, that shit is so stupid. But, hey, man, um, the accolades and the, the, the bag that you get from, you know, whatever label for publicly putting your business out there and then beefing when you don't made enough money that you don't need to beef that you can get your family up out of that. Now it's all backwards. Now your family done spent all the money that you'd have made trying to keep you out of prison. I don't know where the record label is in all this. If they're putting up any money, they're going to have your masters. They're going to make you sign over your masters for your lawyer fees. So you ain't going to have that when you get out. You ain't got nothing, man. You wasted all that time, all that talent. But, you know, the talent was, was a negative energy source the way you used it. So it backfired on you. And I'm not trying to preach to you. I'm telling you, it, 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 I, I went through the same thing, man. Got caught up, but I was using my talent for for a darkness, not a light. Everything that in the dark is gonna come out, bro. And and you know, uh, I always wish you youngsters the best, man. I'd like to see you win, man. And I, I, you know, put these videos out. But the rap industry, with with a lot of the rap that they're promoting, is toxic. Is 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 cultural trash and it's destroying our communities and you know yeah people got free will you could say it's entertainment you know we're just ra having a good time and making money but there's things attached to that and there are people out there with positive rap but we don't see that getting promoted because they know that in order to keep our community uh, uh, in a certain mind state we got to keep a certain uh, mental conditioning fresh in the youngs of the black youth. And it's not like, you know, you, you can see what they're doing. Everybody knows that we talk about it all the time. Everybody knows that they're doing, but you keep doing it. You keep, you know, uh, beating each other up at concerts, funking over stupid shit, just, you know, doing the violence, you know, just, you know, keep it pushing, man. I mean, but if you love that lifestyle, Hey man, bless you. I'm just putting out some, some words of wisdom, man, because I, I know where it ends. And the penitentiary, man, I don't care if you got a cell phone in there, if you're eating a burrito, if you're having a spread, if you, uh, you know, you're in there getting high. It ain't nothing like freedom, man. Big Herc 916. Go to the Herc store at BigHerc916.com and pick you up a bar of soap so you can wash that ass or pick you up some never settle for average merch or some of the muscle up car lifestyle merch. We have hats, never settle for average. Got the muscle up t-shirts. We also have the never settle for average tank tops. Got the muscle up car lifestyle hoodies. Got the beanie caps. Hey, man, represent. And I know you guys aren't average, so pick you up some swag and step your game up. Hello, I'm Big Herc 916. Contact me for life coaching and motivational speaking. Hello, my name is Big Herc 916, and I'm with the Wash Your Ass Committee, and I'm traveling across America helping people wash their ass and get their booty holes clean. And I have with me here today, wash your ass soap. And this one in particular is butt naked scrub, but I also have festival, oatmeal milk and honey, Jamaican me crazy, um, monkey farts, and all these scents smell very good. They will help cleanse your body of funk and also make you feel better about yourself. So. If you can go to BigKirk916.com, you can pick you up a bar. And my goal is to help America combat funk.
Lockdown's over. Get your yard time in. Exclusively at FreshOutSeries.com.